base values of numbers in base 2. Uh, since we have finished looking at uh, how to count numbers in different number bases, so now we are going to look at the place value of numbers in base 2. Okay, so <clears throat> um, number 1, I have this number 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay, so I have this number which has, I have this figure which has five numbers. So we are saying, what is the place value of zero in this number? So basically, the, 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 the number at the end, uh, at the right end side of the number, has the place value of ones in all number bases. The first number, on the right side as the place value of ones. Then this one has the place value of twos. Then this one has the place value of fours. This one has the place value of eights. Sorry. Eights. Then this one has the place value of Sixteens, okay. Sixteens. So these are the place value of the number numbers in BC two. So I just forgot to put a small two here to indicate that this number is in BC two. If I don't put the the small two here, it will be in BC ten. Mostly BC ten, we don't write. A small chain down, we just write the way it is. So this two indicates that this number is in base two. Okay, so what is the logic in writing uh, the press values, the press values of numbers in base two? We are saying this one has the press value of one. So it has the press value of ones, so this is one. So for us to get the place value of this number, the next number to the number which has the place value of one, we are going to multiply one by this place value, the base number. One by this base number, which will be one times two, which will give us the answer, which is two. So this is the, the product we get when we multiply the, this place value by the base number will be the, 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 the place value of the next number. So now if we want to find the place value of this number, we are going to multiply this place value of this number by the number of the base, which is times two, which will give us four, okay? Then we are going to multiply this one. Uh, to get the place value of this one, we are going to multiply the place value of this, this number by the base number which is 2. So we're going to say 4 times 2 which will give us 8 and will be the place value. Then we are going to multiply this 8, the place value of this 0, we're going to multiply it by the number of base which is 8 times 2 which will give us 16. So if you want to find the, if there was another number this side, you want to find the place value of that number we have multiplied 16 by 2 to get that 2 as the place value of the next number. So this is how you, you, you this is how you find the place value of the uh, numbers in base 2 and these are the place values of the numbers in base 2. So we have 1s, 2s, 4s, 8s, 16s. So these are the place value of the numbers in base 2. Okay? Let me give you two numbers which I want you to write there the place value in those numbers. So the first number, number one, we have one, one, zero. Write the place value of these numbers. Then we have one, zero, zero, one. Then we have zero, one. Write the place value of these numbers. Remember they are in base two. They are in base two. So Write the place values of those numbers. Why is it important that you know the place value of numbers in base 2? It is important in the way that when you come to converting numbers in base 2, 
in two base 10, we are going to use the press values. The press values will help us to find to convert the numbers in base 2 into base 10. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please remember there is COVID-19 where mass are going out and if it's not necessary, stay at home. From us, we are saying, God bless you. Thank you.